If you didn't see the draft video for this team, I recommend you check that out. But if you didn't, here is a quick look of the squad again. I was able to draft a lot of elites, man. It was a pretty nasty draft, if I do say so myself. On offense, I was able to get the team of the week, A.J. Green. I got Demarius Thomas, Greg Olson, Pouncey on the O-line, Steve McNair at the helm. And then on defense, I got Eric Well, I got Jarrell Casey, I had Malcolm Butler. I forget who else I had because I had so many beasts on the squad, man. This guy had a pretty solid team, too, from the looks of it. He had OBJ, so hopefully this guy wasn't going to try and go deep to him every single time because one of the biggest buzzkills, or the biggest buzzkill on Madden 16 was the aggressive catch bullshit so hopefully that doesn't continue but like I said in the last video too if you are new to the channel you are not subbed to my channel then you you don't know that I haven't been on Madden in a very long time I haven't played Madden since June and when Madden 17 came out in August I refused to get it because I still had that bad taste in my mouth from what Madden brought so yeah I was able to get a PSN card and I picked up Madden for, for, it was half off too, so that's pretty much why I got it. So it was good to be back on Madden, man. It felt very good to be back on Madden, back on Draft Champions. And I was hoping that I could uh, get a get a W in my, first, in my first game played pretty much in this Draft Champions because I don't know how it still works. If people are leaving games left, right, and center, that would be a huge buzzkill as well if everybody was still leaving games every two seconds. But this guy is trying to go deep to Beckham to begin this game I'm pretty sure that was but I'm not having any of that bullshit but he's able to come up with a completion right there on third and long so that is what you don't want to be doing on the defensive side of the ball man giving up these third and long situations so this guy was he was just yeah he was making his way down the field fairly quickly to begin this game I'm still yeah, this is just crazy to me right now like I can't believe I'm not seeing MLB on the screen right now because it has been way too damn long since I've played any game pretty much other than MLB so yeah like again I'm going to repeat it again because some people still may be confused I'm still going to be making MLB videos every single day so do not panic and as I am saying that he gets it in the end zone so that was a pretty decent drive from this guy came up with the big play on third and 16 I believe it was so I need to respond back quick, and I plan to do so, man. I was coming out. I was planning on going deep. Didn't even, I didn't even care who it was, but first play on offense. Now a play fake here on first down, sliding out of the pocket. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Pass the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Demarius Thomas with the snag right there, man. I didn't even care. I don't even give two shits, man. I was coming out throwing deep. Didn't even care what I had to do. Demarius Thomas comes up with a big grab right there. We get it in the end zone on the first play. So we're tying this game up in the first quarter. To prevent the long ball, I am playing some cover four right now, man. I wasn't going to be letting this guy come back in this game. Eric Weddle over the middle is getting the pick. This is what I'm talking about, man. This is hype to be back on Madden right now. I'm telling you, I am very excited to be back on Madden right now. This is crazy. Eric Weddle gets the pick. And Eric Weddle is going to be doing some more damage later in this video. Do not, don't even, don't even question it. Because he, uh, he had a huge game on defense. Look at Steve McNair. I was looking for somebody in the end zone, but nobody was open, it seemed. So McNair, I'm taking off with McNair, and he scores. So this guy gets off to a good start. I am responding back in like less than a minute. I'm able to get two TDs on the board. And that damn field goal shit, dude. I, I played a couple games before this one. I made every single field goal, but there were a couple I was very close to missing. But I don't think that's going to be a problem. I mean, it was way too easy to make extra points and shit back in uh, Madden 16, obviously. I'm kind of glad they did change that because, I don't know, it just makes the game more interesting. Even if somebody, like, be like fourth quarter or something like that, it'll be 30... 31-24, somebody will get a touchdown, make it 31-30, and then you don't even know if they're going to miss the extra point because, yeah, when I did play somebody before this, they did miss, I think they missed two extra points too, so that may be a big factor in some of these games, but Eric Weddle again is getting another pick, dude, I was saying, he is going to be having a big game, and he is so far having a big game, this is still the first quarter, and Eric Weddle has two picks, so this is a big game from Weddle so far so that was I, I was very surprised this guy did not rage after that but thank god he stays in the game I'm rolling out to the left nobody is open but Greg Olson 
finds finds the biggest opening you've ever seen. You're never taught to throw across the field like that, but when somebody is dancing in the end zone like that, then you got to find him, and I did. So now I am going up by two TDs, and this game was still only in the second quarter with three minutes left, so this guy is still looking to respond, obviously. He was looking to go deep a lot, man. I knew it. Just by some of the plays he was running, he was looking to go deep a lot, so I was playing a lot of cover four. I mean, I did play... Uh, some man coverage at times too, but I found that when I was playing man coverage, of course, he was just hitting uh, his running back in, in the flat or just somebody in the flat or something like that or just making some short passes, but look at this shit. This guy's going to Odell Beckham in the end zone, and he comes down with it. So, ah, is this still a problem in this game, I ask? OBJ comes up with that clutch catch. So it is now 21-14. This is a pretty crazy first half to this game. So I'm coming out running a screen with ProSize. Did not have the best running back I mentioned in the draft video, man. If I was able to get it, if I was able to get an elite running back, this would be this would be one of the best draft champions teams I've drafted. And that's probably going back to Madden 16 too, because I was having some terrible luck at times in Madden 16 with these drafts. But this, yeah, this is like the third or fourth draft I got. And I was able to get a solid team in. 83 overall with a very good offense and defense. And Steve McNair was just slicing. I was just slicing and dicing. Carving up the defense with McNair at times. Demarius Thomas, two grabs, two TDs. So I'm going up by more in this game. 28 to 14 after this extra point. And we're still not even at half yet. So I think this guy was getting the ball at after half too. So it was, it was very important to be up by more than a score going into halftime. But again, this guy is going to Odell Beckham down the side. Like, this is what this guy was doing. I was trying to uh, put some double coverage on OBJ at times. But I don't know. This guy was just one of these damn guys, man. He was trying to go deep. And then if he wasn't able to find the deep ball, he was just hitting a little... He was hitting, yeah, these little short passes out in the flat or something. He was running some screens at times. Which was my fault because I was running some cover for defense and shit like that. And this guy was running, going to the screen. So that came back and bit me in the ass pretty much. But he's trying to find him again. I'm having none of it. Let's get that BS out of here, man. I'm not having any more of this aggressive catch bullshit. I'm getting the pick. I don't know who that was. That may have been Malcolm Butler. I'm not really sure. So, yeah, that right after half, this guy's trying to go to the onside kick as well, which... Did not come out in his favor. I am finding Greg Olson over the middle, so we are threatening in the red zone. Second and 14 now. McNair is scrambling again. I was scrambling with McNair a lot in this game because this guy was sending a lot of pressure, I'm pretty sure, too. So now with a third and three, I don't even know why the hell I did that, man. That was a very stupid decision on my part going to the, going to the toss right there. I mean, I, yeah, I would have had a better off chance of just running up the gut or something like that. But I try and go to the toss. I end up losing like five yards in the process. So I don't even care, man. I'm going. I'm kicking the field goal. I don't give a shit, man. I know in the future I will not be kicking any field goals and stuff. But I wanted to make sure that the like first full game I was going to play in Madden 17 was going to be a W just to get a little confidence back. So... This guy's coming out again with Mariota, and he's finding OBJ deep. I'm pretty sure all these all these passes he threw deep were to Odell Beckham. They may have been to somebody else too, but I'm pretty sure all of them were, were to Odell Beckham, and he comes up with another one, so he's dropping back. Who do you think he's going to? The same motherfucker. He doesn't come down with it though right there, so now he has a third and nine, and I just, I don't know. I didn't really figure he was going to go to the end zone right here. I was going to... I just figured he was going to try and find somebody just to get the first down. But I am getting some pressure right there. Casey is able to make the tackle, and he does not convert. But he's going for it on, for, on fourth and nine. That is, dude, you you have a much better chance of just going for it with a, with a normal play. Like, what are you doing going for the fake field goal? That shit never works. Third and 19. A.J. Green with a huge grab right there from McNair. And then another third down, I'm able to hit Olsen, I believe, in the flat. So that is another first down. So I am, I'm, I'm, I'm marching my way up the field again. And Procise wasn't able to get shit all this game. My stupid ass is taunting at like the 10-yard line. But yeah, man, I wasn't getting the run going, the run game going at all in this game. So Procise gets it into the end. So that was pretty much the only good run he had in this game. So I am going up 38 to 14. There's still over two minutes left in the fourth quarter, so there's still plenty of time. Anything can happen in these damn games. This guy's obviously looking to go deep, 
and he comes down with it yet again. I didn't even realize how many times he came up with D-balls. Like, I didn't even really... Yeah, I didn't even realize how many of these fucking deep passes he came up with, but he comes up with another one, so obviously he's going to the hurry-up offense. I was thinking about setting some pressure this time, which I did. So he's looking to find somebody over the middle, and Eric Weddle comes up with his third INT of this game. So this guy must uh, this guy must have had his head in a bottle of acid or something because I don't even know what this guy was doing coming out. He was playing some special. He was playing field goal defense right there, and he I guess he made the biggest mistake of the game. He tried to adjust to it, but not in time. I'm able to come up with a easy t easy TD, one of the easiest TDs you'll ever get in this game. And now I'm going up 45-14 in this game, so I may be putting a 50-burger on the board in the first full game I'm able to play. This is no joke, the first full game I was able to play, too. I did play, yeah, a couple games before this, but people were quitting and stuff like that, which people usually do in draft champions if they don't get their way to begin the game. So obviously this guy's going deep. Malcolm Butler again with the INT. So Malcolm Butler and Eric Weddle combined for like five interceptions in this game. So this guy wants to go deep. I'll respond back with a deep ball myself, and I'm coming down with it with A.J. Green. Get out of my house. That is a 50-burger on the board. 52-14 with a minute left in this game pretty much. This guy was still playing. Hats off to this guy for still playing this game because a lot of people would have been long gone at this point. Another, another pick. So I don't even know how many picks he threw when it was all said and done. It was at least six. At least six picks he threw. Five of them came from the same two players, Butler and Eric Weddle. I'm able to get another TD. I'm going for the 60-burger. I already got the 50-burger on the board. I'm going for the 60-burger, and I get it with the toss this time. So 60 to 14. This is pretty much all said. This has been all said and done for a good amount of time by now. Again, he's trying to go deep. No chance. Coming down with another pick. That may be seven picks on the day. The fat lady is in the nosebleeds, and she has been singing since, like, the first quarter. 60 to 14. That is how you want to start off the Madden 17 tenure, man. If you're new to the channel and you want to see some more Madden 17 videos, please subscribe. If you're looking for some MLB videos, do not worry because I'll still be posting those every single day.